गुड मॉर्निंग एम आई ऑडिबल टू ऑल ग्रेट so we are starting with the prayer master samuel haneman who have made this divine sign for all of us and taught us dare to be wise seeking blessings from our guru dr praful vijaykar sir who have made this divine science and connecting it with the modern science and made homeopathy easy like mathematics jai haneman jai homeopathy om vijaykaray namo so friends we are reading the books organon as well as we are reading the books the end of my assumptions of myism by dr praful vijaykar sir so as we have read in the organon about the superiority of the homeopathy and the things which the allopathic doctor do at the time of hanemans so what haneman is telling about something in the aphorism number 55 however soon the public become convinced that the suffering of the sick increase and heightened with the introduction of every one of the system and the method of cure if followed exactly so this is what 
Hanuman has mentioned at the time of 200 years back to 50 years back that publics also convinced that the introductions of the different different treatment by the conventional medicines which cannot give rise to a uh, relief but the sickness is increasing the same thing which we encounter right now also so long ago these allopathic physicians would have been left had it not been for the palliative relief obtained at times from the empirically discovered remedy whose almost instantaneous flattering actions is apparent to the patient and this is to some extent so to keep up their credit so they started some different mode of treatment and that is called as the isopathy and in that using the isopathy they get the credit that the allopathy can give the results so by means of this palliative or antipathy and enchipathic methods introduced according to the Galen's teaching, the contraria contraries for the 17th century, the physician hitherto could hope to win the confidence while they delude with the almost instantaneous amelioration. So this is what they delude. But how fundamentally unhelpful and hurtful this method of treatment is, we shall see in what follows in the disease not running a rapid course. It is certainly the only one of the mode of the treatment adopted by the allopaths that had any manifest relations to the portions of the suffering caused by the natural disease. But what kind of relations? Of a truth, the very one, the exact contrary of the right one that ought carefully to be avoided if we would not delude and make a mockery of the patient affected with the chronic disease. What, what Master is telling that the third mode of employing medicine in a disease has been attempted to be created by the means of isopathy. It is called, that is to say, a method of curing a given disease by the same contagious principle that it produced it. But even granting this could be done, yet after all, seeing that the virus is given to the patient highly potentized and consequently in an altered conditions, the cure is effected only by opposing the similimum to a similimum. To attempt to cure by means of very same morbific potency, contradict all the normal human understanding and hence all experience. Those who first brought isopathy to notice probably thought of the benefit which mankind receives from the cowpox vaccination by which the vaccinated individual is protected against the future smallpox infections and as it were cured in the advance. But both cowpox and smallpox are only similar in no way the same disease. In many respects, they differ, namely in the more rapid course and the mildness of the cowpox and especially in this, that it is never contagious to man by mere nearness. The universal vaccination put an end to all epidemics of deadly fearful smallpox to such an extent that the present generation does no longer possess a clear conception of former frightful smallpox plague. Moreover, in this way, undoubtedly, certain diseases peculiar to the animal may give us a remedy and medicinal potencies for very similar important human disease and thus happily enlarge our stock of homeopathic remedies. But to use a human morbific matter, a sorin taken from the each in the man as a remedy for the same human each or for an evil arising therefore is so this is the question. Nothing can result from this but the trouble and aggravations of the disease. So after using these modes of treatment also there is trouble and aggravation is this the thing. So this is what Hanuman mentioned about the heteropathic method of treatment and the isopathic method of treatment will not lead to any cure. Now, friends, we are reading the books, the end of my assumptions of the myism. So up till now, we have covered many things from the understanding of the physics of the Sora psychosis and the syphilis. And then we enter into the mind of the Sora and then we enter into the mind of the psychosis. In psychosis, we are reading the mind of the psychosis excess. And we have learned up till now about the 
expressions of the psychosis, the over expressions, the will, the positive uh, obstinate, then the intellect, the highly intellectual creativeness to deceive everyone, to manipulate everyone, then the moral, the corrupt moral, and then we enter into the emotions of the happiness, joy, then angers, then everything. The base of that is the fear, and that we have read up till now. So we continue this reading from the left. We were left yesterday. How the psychosis express at the religious affections. So religious affections is the psychosis in origins. Those who are ritualistically religious are as if fixed in idea, they almost come near to the superstitiousness. All this arises out of the fear. They are fear, they they have the fear of salvation, the fear of being punished by God, fear of unknown. So there are the background, there is a fear, many fear. This fear automatically induces fear of God. So as you all have uh, seen the movie, uh, Oh My God. And in that one dialogue was given by the Paris Kaval that uh, these people are, the people is a God-fearing people, not the God-loving people. If it is a God-loving people, they do not have to worship anything. They have to worship the man. So this is what the motto of uh, that movie is. Service to mankind is service to God. So this is what the fear automatically induces the fear of God. Some people say that they are very religious and that they follow all the rituals very strictly because if they miss any one of this ritual or they do anything wrong, God will punish them. All the praying and praising the Lord and asking for the protections from, from Him is out of fear of God. So this is what something you have to keep in mind. This is the psychosis. If they have fear of God due to which their mind compels them to be religious, it is psychosis. Most religious people are psychotic. Those who preach to be noble, mild, never angry, never jealous, never cursing and do not practice the same for themselves are psychosis. You know, the facade. They are showing something and actually they are not. This is what the facade is. The religion, when used to fragment the peace of society, acquire a psychotic view. Religiousness should arise purely from the love for the God and not the fear of God. Prayer to God often includes one's demand and desire. Oh Lord, let me pass in my exam with the flying colors. Oh, let me get a good job or even let my income increase so that I can purchase a car and houses. So this is what the prayer is included. These are purely selfish, self-centered prayers. The lady priest coming for the treatment requested to be taken early. She wanted her to be given a preference, even other, because she said she had a vast follower for whom she was a Messiah. Cure me and you will be doing good to so many sufferers who come to, you, to me. I am equal to many and therefore I advise you to give me a preference. So God will definitely bless you. This is the psychotic request. So this is what you have to keep in mind. A person who thinks himself or herself as a God's messenger or a Messiah or one who feels his or her pompous importance is not a real religious person but psychotic religious person. This lady's congestive cardiac failure problem got solved with the Naxwamika. Naxwamika not in the rubric importance fields. is pompous. In this case, which was chilly and thirsty, she was not only projecting her importance, but was looking down upon ordinary men and the woman. People who try to advertise and volunteer information about their religious attitude are not really re religious at heart. Those who really are never even try to make or mention it. So this is what very difference between the religiousness. So those who are showing, they are doing uh, pujas and they are wearing these things. This is something that you have to keep in mind. There must be some psychosis to be there. 
so motto behind that has to be taken into consideration then and then you will get the real picture that is actually religious or not so sir has mentioned one case a beautiful case the man who came for the help for his allergic rhinitis and easily spraining of ankles and back made it clear that he had a sneezing attack when he was exposed to flower at near quarters he got back up when he had to sit for the 40 hours at a stretch after two and a half hours history he never mentioned why he could not avoid flower which aggravated him or what was that which brought him close to the flower when the accompanying person was questioned for the detail he disclosed that the patient was very well known spiritual and philosophical advisor who had improved lives of thousands of people in the city of mumbai and in the rural areas the history which gradually unveiled was that he was once upon a time an alcoholic who used to beat his wife and children and steal money for his alcohol as destiny would have it he changed from the bad man to the good man he not only realized his mistake but also went on sharing his bad and good experience with the others and persuaded many drunk cards to leave alcohol and accept the path of religiousness he started a temple like meeting place where in front of god they would give up drinking as he went on giving discourses he became famous as a messenger of god on a particular day in the month thousands of people gathered to give him offerings of the flower which he had to accept as a token of love this was the reason why he could not stay away from the flower and wanted to get rid of the allergy the respect for such a man automatically turns into veneration so much work he had done for the down trodden and not a word for it in his the history the religiousness the ardency the sympathetic helping nature had to be dug out the secretive attitude had literally covered up his history he had created a revolution and changed the fate of millions with his chilly thoughtless and ardent religious sympathetic secretive and religious natural trait he improved and got cured with the similar one so this is what you have to go behind that something why this is happening so what was required in this man was a remedy which had its defense psychosis that is psychotic remedy the psychosis had to be inhibitory a psychosis less all attitudes were hidden through a good in character there was no exhibitionism the remedy one which had to be have a psychosis less had to be good at heart chilly thoughtless and could bring about a revolution fittingly the chronic complaints of easy sprains and strains is also a psychosis less so this is what the body never lies mind can lie less amount of the elastin produced in the ligament and the muscles causing easy sprains and strain and and the remedy which covered mental makeup physical makeup and general makeup along with thermal and thus and the miasm defense was the causticum the revolutionary so causticum is the remedy we no which is a looseness relaxation of the muscles and the tendon causing sprains and strains and the prolapse this is due to probability less of elastin production which is inhibitory psychosis or psychosis less the body and mind speak the same language and are defined in the similar way the mental defense was also in an inhibitory psychosis and hence he was not an exhibitionist so this is what you have to keep in your mind how the person is behaving in front of you how the person is showing a bigger psychosis to you so go behind that and find out what was the reason behind for that and that is what you can think of so this is what the revolutionary is the process so many of the philanthropies you can find out that they are doing good things out of some revolutionary things they had experience in their life some drawback in the life which may lead to a change in their attitudes and this is what they become revolutionary as we have seen the master hanuman was also a revolutionary in the time of stem 
So I can thought of Master Hanuman is the remedy of Mercurius. Because what Sir has also said that the Hanuman was Mercurius because he was a revolutionary in the time of 250 years ago. And that is what he had made the revolution in the field of medicines and found a new system. Again, he was connected to the spirituals and having a divine system. So we can think of the remedy which is Mariksalp or a Sinabari, that is a spiritual revolutionary personality. Now, up till now, we have understood that it is the psychosis, excess phase of uh, psychosis. Now, we go into the another phase of the psychosis that is called the psychosis less. So, how uh, the undercoverness is there? So, under use of the intellect, under wield of the person, or under express or under growth of the intellect, which gives rise to a psychosis less. This phase of psychosis gives rise to undergrowing and underfunctioning. When applied to the intellect, we have a typical mental retardation of the baraita as an example. Psychosis less stunt the growth of baraita, both physically and mentally. Any stimulus which enter the body through the receptors of our nervous system has to produce up to the cortex assess properly and a response from the brain in the form of proper or just actions in baraita we can say that the stimulus does not go as high as the cortex and as it takes a shortcut a predetermined reactions of any situation is the result the reactions decisions is not as per the situation. This is something called as a fixed idea. In such person, adaptability is conspicuously lacking. So we all know that Baraita is not adapted to the any crisis. They are always a routines and they have good in routine work. But when it is given another task apart from the routine, their adaptability is loss so that is what the fixed idea of the baraita is so under expressions of the one self is represent as talk in disposed to secretive reserve or the under expressions of the will now once in a new circumstances the brain is found incapable a sense of helplessness or a delusion as if legs are cut off have their origin in this inadaptability a grown-up person moving in a car, enjoying all the luxury, find it difficult to play a cassette recorder umpteen number of time. Even after being taught, a person refused to drive a car saying, I shall never be able to maneuver it through the traffic. Maybe I will never be able to apply the brakes or maybe I will be too slow and block the traffic, etc. But I know one thing for the certain that driving a car is not mean for me. This is not necessarily only Baraita car constitution, but certainly indicate a group of drugs which having a timid with a lack of confidence in there. So this is what the things that we have to keep in mind. The timid with the lack of confidence is the under expressions of the psychosis. These people therefore goes into shyness, bashfulness, or even hide their faces or hide behind the persons and furniture they having a lack of courage even to look up into someone's eyes the lack of courage expressed as the cowardiceness the real pictures of the psychosis the psychosis less peoples are compromised easily they recognize but do not move if in grief when they lose near or dear ones they suppress their emotions and never cry and express their Grief. So this is what suppress their emotions, never cry and never express their grief. This is the psychosis. Under expressions of the emotions as well as the physical quality all belong to the psychosis less. They are quite reserved, introverted, secretive people desiring obscurity, solitude, who hate coming into limelight because they have something to hide like a guilt, grief or disappointment fall under this category. So this is what the behind the motto is this. Those who are like this, they have to hide their guilt, grief or disappointment. 
so indignations more often occur in a people who do not express so this is what expressive psychosis or even a soric or a syphilitic constitution don't take anything lying down they give back so this is what the indignations is the expressions of the anger which is not express so this is what they suffer whereas in a soric and psychosis a soric and syphilitic constitution there is a reaction and that reaction is to giving back so they retaliate under expressions of the grief is like a silent grief weeping when alone sitting by themselves during sadness they do not show that tears keeps on bro uh, brooding so in short in short the discontentment sadness are under express so this is what the grief is expressed in the form of silent grief weeping alone sitting by themselves during sadness now the love the love of the husband toward the wife sometimes is not expressed directly in fact very stiff and pretentious constitutions who appear to be hard angry dictatorial may be having a soft heart within like a lycopodium invariably the wife may say says i know he loves me he is very affectionate from within and he cares for me but he never give me what i want he never hugs me or never caresses me i long for his touch i don't know but he can never do that it's perhaps his ego which comes in his way you can never say what is in his mind it fits with the perfect hidden psychotic constitutions again the happiness even the happiness is under express here this people never laugh freely the leaves aside a laughing even a smile is at a premium so there is a never smile personality as well as smile at everything both come under psychosis less because one is a constrictions and one is called as the smiling at everything that is a looseness so this both comes under the psychosis less the strictness and the looseness or the slackness both have a psychotic trait in aphorism number 74 we have seen that hanemann is mentioning about the revolutionary changes in the body which include the relaxations of the organs and the tissue this belong to the psychosis less the reason behind the under productions of the elastin is the elastin gives the elasticity and the recoverability and the control when elastin is less it can produce a relaxation of the limit looseness and slackness of the control so when the control is lost you can understand the elastin has been gone so this is very important the line to understand in this process moral there cannot be anything like under expressions of the moral moral means the control or the sense of right and wrong if we apply the above criteria of the looseness and the lack of control to the moral then we have an array of the modern day attitude so looseness a lack of control to the moral so what was that so that was the moral affection want of this is psychosis less so this is what the modern day attitudes comes under the trait of this which can be syphilitic two okay keep in mind there is a small line between these two things which makes you understand in a proper way so moral affection want of which can be syphilitic two so this can lead to the lasciviousness corrupt venal debauchery shamelessness coquetries flirting buoyancy libertinism all are the psychosis excess psychosis less this is a moral want of and looseness at the level of moral so this is what expressions of the psychosis excess and psychosis less we have understood in the forms of expressions will intellect moral and certain emotions now our journey of understanding the miasm in a deeper sense and that is what the syphilitic mentals so we are reading the syphilitic mentals so as we have seen that the every living organism want to survive the first two functions of the cells are involved in the first is the energy productions of the cell for survival and the multiplications or the uh, of the species for the survival but the third function is for the protections of the self and the species and that is what the defense is so syphilitic mental 
when the first function is affected or sacrificed to defend against a hostile stimulus we get the physiological defense of the psoric disease or the sora when the first defense is not sufficient the cell may undergo the changes at the genetic level and to defend it morphologically by the construction in the form of accumulations deposition fortification which we equate to the psychotic defense or the psychosis when this first defense of the physiological response is not sufficient to the cell may undergo changes at the genetic level to defend or to save the whole organism by destroying a part of it not the whole to so destroying the part of it this is at the cost of the third functions of immunity this can be equated to the syphilitic defense or the syphilis so this is what we have learned in the physical part this can also be precipitated after the constructive defense so this is what from sora to syphilis and this can also be precipitated after the constructive defense has been found insufficient to stop the hostile attack hence after psychosis we can get syphilis in some constitution it could be reverse a destructive pathology after having got rid of the part to save the whole may switch on the genetic apparatus to produce a constructions or the psychosis this is what the compensations of syphilitic compensations express as the psychosis thus we can understand that the disease can progress in the different constitutions in a different manner from sora to psychosis sora to syphilis sora to psychosis then the syphilis and sometimes the sora to syphilis then psychosis this is what the journey from the miasm here in the last line that is what the compensatory psychosis to save the whole so that the syphilis has been converted into psychosis the syphilis when the hostile stimulus trying to bring about the impairment in the homeostasis of the organism cannot be controlled and overpowered by the physiological defense or even a constructive defense the injured organism adopt a different strategy it has to save the whole organism and prolong the life by hooks or by crooks by crooks or the crooked way is the options now left it for in this crooked way it try to sacrifice the part under attack so it tries to sacrifice the part under attack the part under attack if disease may itself pose a problem for the equilibrium or the homeostasis or the health of the whole organism the organism hence sacrifice that part in order that the organism as a whole survives so this is what syphilis is not actually a bad for the survival but you have to keep in mind that to sacrifice something to save the whole the organism at the base level has a function the third function especially assigned for maintaining the integrity of the organism this integrity is maintained with the specially designed system called as the immune system which has been mentioned earlier in the crooked options the immune system or immune mechanism is sacrificed and helps in destroying an unwanted part the falling of the gangrenous toe in a diabetes is an ideal example of how body defends by the destruction so this is what you have to understand this defense by destructions can be equated to our third miasm of hanemann that is syphilis when the part of the whole is shed off or a broken the whole will look crooked so this is what very important when everything is in a balance it looks good but when some balance is missed, uh, missed or something or some part of that is uh, uh, shed off or broken off that the look becomes crooked the appearance will be distorted the whole body of the organism or individual has a symmetry to maintain this is the balance in the physical and the mental faculty this balance or equilibrium is in control of the immunity there is an a social order of the 100 million cells working harmoniously to maintain the equilibrium every cell shares to maintain the equilibrium and at the same time benefit from the equilibrium as long as the equilibrium or the homeostasis is maintained health prevails when the homeostasis is disturbed 
it result in the disease or even a death. So this is what we have seen that in acute disease, uh, homeostasis is disturbed, it result into disease, disease or either end into recovery. So this is what death and result, disease. Somewhat on this same ground, Hahnemann has expressed the definitions of the health and this is harmoniously balanced operations of the vital force result in the health and disturbed balance of the vital force result in the disease. If harmony is responsible for the health, <clears throat> the disturbed harmony is result from the loss control over the health. Here, this is what the control over the health is lost. In short, the harmonious functioning keeps all the part in the control and this part maintain harmony and immunity. When the part is destroyed, so this is what the, we are uh, going into the syphilitic miasmatic trait. When the part is destroyed, the balance is lost. What happened? The balance is lost. Same way, the control of the functions and the sensations and the control of that part is also lost. And this goes into out of control. So this is what something you have to understand. Organism goes, this out of control organism goes in for the further destructions and distortion. So this is what leading to destructions and distortion. The syphilitic miasm express itself as out of control distortion enhance the ugly look. So this is what you have to keep in mind. How the person is looking physically expressed as the syphilitic miasm and at the same level when the control of everything has been lost, it goes into distortion, it goes into ugliness and that is what the syphilis is the level of physics. Now we have to understand at the level of mind how the mind of the syphilis is working. When we apply the above expressions of the syphilis to the mind, we get something which is called as out of control emotions, destructions of the security giving rise to mania and insanity, distortions of the volatile mind giving rise to perversions and all this lead to the ugly behavior. So this is what you can think in persons and you find that the person is not behaving sanely they become insane. That is what something that their security is destructed, their sane is destructed, their intellect has been destructed and goes into either a mania or the insanity. There are the emotions which goes out of control, which can lead to the out of control or ugly behavior. So that also giving rise to a destructions. We apply the physical quality of syphilis to the mind and we get the following nature of the syphilitic persons. So expressions of the person is not balanced, again out of control. This may lead to what? The hasty speech, the actions and the gestures are not smooth, balanced or controlled. This lead to the jerkiness, of the speech, actions, and even awkwardness. So this is what you have to understand the behavior of the person. So awkward behavior, walk, talk is a sign of smooth. Awkward behavior, walk, talk is a sign of, of no smooth control over the faculty of expression. So whenever any person comes to you with the jerkiness, the jerky speech, the hasty speech, this is the sign that the person may go into the syphilitic trait. Now will. So will can be out of control in the syphilitic. The strength of the will lead to decide whether a person is positive or courageous person or a weak or timid person. So reactions of the persons in the situation help us to decide upon whether he is courageous or the coward. But what if the person's reaction to situation is not constant? This exactly the case of syphilitic, the reaction to situation can be too much or out of proportion to the stimulus or too less. The behavior is unpredictably too much or too little and no reactions at all. There is no balance on con on or control over the system giving rise to the haphazard, awkward, uncontrolled and unpredictable activity and that is what we call as the hysteria unpredictable behaviors, unpredictable, 
out of control emotional reactions giving rise to a hysteria this lead to ugliness weirdness both at the level of mind and body so this is what the whenever the wheel is lost it can goes into the unpredictable haphazard awkward uncontrolled and unpredictable activities or sometime you can find out that the very very courageous people goes into a state of audacity and they cannot understand what is the consequences which he faces out of this this is also called as out of control will and that is the syphilitic in nature the intellect the either the destructions or the perversions of the intellect or the out of control intellect are the syphilitic in nature under active mind or a dull intellect can lead to the stupidity on the other hand the mind can be intelligent but cannot be used at the right time in the right place gives rise to indiscretion so this is again the syphilitic there are children who are stamped as mentally retarded these same children are unable to learn the school subject well but are intelligent enough to know a film song thoroughly they will know the name of the film star pop stars they will identify them very briskly and quickly but will not know the name of the presidents of the nations nor will be he able to identify the geographical locations of the niagara falls or the taj mahal the intellect is not directed properly these children may grow up increasing their vocabulary with the obscene word the left brain and the right brain do not cooperate again this is very important when the left brain and right brain do not cooperate in a proper way then also it lead to the syphilit any amount of the correction falls on a deaf ear so this is the syphilitic again you can uh, here i mentioned that the autism is also uh, one thing that the right and left brain balance is disturbed and that is what the syphilitic is the cases sir has mentioned the cases a boy of 8 years uh, had a bad habit in a school he would go and pick up the skirt of a young girl repeatedly he was bashed up by the girls punished by the teacher reprimanded by the parents but to no avail he would admit his mistake but could not mend his way he would do it all over again this was not defiance or disobedience he just could not control himself and his brain refuses to learn the right thing his mother complained that it seems he never need food if i am late from the office he will not just go he will just go to sleep without even complaining if i don't feed him at night he will not get nourishment i try to wake him up but he won't i feed him with my own hands and he will not refuse it he will go on eating and eating and eating this is nothing like a satiety this has been his nature since birth he will eat and eat but never say enough if the food is salt less or having excess salt he will never complain he will devour both with the equal relish yet this child was good at study and scored well so this is something that you understand out of control things in another case a girl of the 6 years would go and touch a hot iron despite being scolded badly she fell from a swing got hurt received nine stitching on the forehead next she went on to the same swing and played a same aerobics to show how she fell down much to the horror of the parent she staying on the third floor of the building tried to walk on the parapet outside the window which was hardly 6 inches broad when questions why she was doing it she coolly replied i want to go to the next room and the door is too far this is the good shortcut this is the indiscretions you know foolishness but above all improper use of the intellect so here the intellect has been cut off in all the above cases we find that the sense of right and wrong is abolished the intellect does not know what is right for him or safe for him or what is wrong or harmful for him such patients if they are chilly are the syphilitic anacardium so this is what sir has given remedy also 
even grow up children even grow up children who do not know where to spit where not to where to speak where not to what to do and what not to may be in a syphilitic miasm the body too does not realize whether i am hungry whether i am satisfied and full whether there is a excess salt or the spice or whether there is less of it so this is what something that the destructions of the intellect the moral the abolish sense of the right and wrong gives makes the anacardium go on eating and eating and not the hunger this abolish sense make him cruel and do immoral act so cruelty and immoral act and many times makes him go on for a drugs and become a criminal so this is what go in for the drugs and become a criminal without remorse these are the anacardium this very innate characteristic make him openly lascivious loose and behave obscenely in the public you know in psychosis it is covered up but in syphilis everything is open so this is very important so he can be very shameless to such an extent that he removes his clothes exhibit nudity like a syphilitic Hyosimus. This is what the syphilis is. So syphilis is the open enemy. Psychosis is the hidden enemy. As long as the psychosis prevails, there is a fear of criticism, punishment, loss of prestige, which forces the sex exploiter to have a control on lasciviousness and lewdness, which can be indirect and clandestine. But in syphilis, there is no control, no hold bar, no hold bar. sex campaign is purely syphilitic so this is what the control has been lost but in psychosis there is a fear behind that is the fear of criticism punishment loss of prestige which forces the sex exploiter to have a control on lascivious or lewdness so they go on indirect actions and in a closed room but whereas the syphilis is in open so emotions so emotions the uncontrolled emotions are the syphilitic trait the emotions are essentially defense mechanisms of our individual the people who are weak having timid trait so that they don't involve themselves in the fight or harmful situation the anxiety is the emotions highly developed in them to protect them generally the sora the coward and the intelligent but interactive mind of the psychotic individual develop a fear and escapist attitude as their defense state and in the syphilis a very defensive functions of the third is defective add to it the out of control means the defense of emotions are out of control in syphilis the man is not in control of his emotions but emotions control him so this is what very important aspect of understanding it is like a driving a car whose wheels and steering have no connections the steering wheel is supposed to give a control on the direction on which the car travels if one at the steering wheel cannot control the wheels of the car the person obviously is helpless and has to go where the car takes him and that too unintelligently this will inevitably lead to the destruction and death so this is what out of control any emotion can lead to the destruction and death crime most of the criminals who kill murder and maskers with or without remorse are made up of the syphilitic constitutions so these are the syphilitic in constitution so hope you all have understood the basic understanding of the syphilitic trait there are many things to be understood in this also so we will conclude this with one chapter also so after reading all these things the how psychosis is represented to everything how syphilis is represented to everything so this will guide us that is miasm is good or bad how can we understand so this is what we have to have a chapter on this that sir has given idea that there is a lot of argument about that this miasm is good or bad so sometimes some says the psychosis access is good so for the expressions the positivity achievement the confidence confidence full of confidence and everything so 
yes psychosis good or bad again there is a corrupt venal so there is a debauchery that is adultery and everything so this is a bad part so how can we consider the miasm is good or bad so there is a lot of argument about this miasm being good that is miasm is bad is sora better than the psychosis or psychosis better than the syphilis all these three miasm have their goods and their bad side all three are essential for the survival of the being and the species without any one of them the human being will not function and will not survive without either of them the human will not suffer or die so sora relate uh, relate to the first functions of survival it is concerned with the first defense response of an organism to the any calamity physical or mental when this defense is affected genetically as an individual born with the soric constitutions or by therapeutic agents or emotions it become pathological and start troubling the individual syphilis we talk about the syphilis as the miasm of destructions everything bad is attributed to it it stand for the destruction distortion perversion ugliness out of control and hysterical so here the part of syphilis is mentioned by the sir so everything is like this destructions distortions perversion ugliness out of control and hysterical are the syphilis but it has good side too what is the goodness of the syphilis the almighty has made this world keeping in the mind the balance or the equilibrium of the opposite forces which makes this world go on so we have a positive side we have a negative side so if this both are there then and then the balance is maintained if this is not there balance cannot be maintained so we already discuss about the world being made up of opposite if there is a black there is a white if there is a male there is has to be a female if there is a bad there has to be a good if syphilis has a bad quality it has good quality too the goodness of syphilis lies in the advantage of the destructive tendency in the body the destructions in the destructive response of the cells is basically mean to save the whole by sacrificing the part the destruction is supposed to be or to remove the disease portion cells or the tissue it is the form of cell death designed to eliminate the unwanted host cell through the activations of the internally programmed series of the event it occur normally in the following general settings during the development as a homeostatic mechanism to maintain the optimum cell populations in the tissue during development means the embryogenic phase as the homeostatic mechanism to maintain the optimum cell populations in the tissue and the third the cell in the body go on multiplying incessantly so growth is the stimulus after every cut if cell were to multiply without control there would be many tags warts and tumor all over so extra cell need to be destroyed as a defense mechanism such as in the immune this reaction when cells are damaged by the disease or the noxious agent and in the aging process so this is what the goodness of syphilis is that if there is no control over development so the baby within 9 month the baby from the single cell it become a big baby but if the control over the apoptosis process is not there that can lead to the big baby so this is what you have to understand that the syphilis has in a good part also it is a syphilitic constitutions which make a dare devil fire fighters or the soldier they are there to risk their life to save their countrymen when the order is given the soldier whether he is on the foot or in the air or does not fear the consequences he attack without the fear he kills without the sentiment remorse all for the good for the country what can a coward and the fearful soldier do at the same front no they have to be the pe- there have to be a people with a do or die attitude and this is not the disease it is just a sheer defense or the syphilis of the highest level the goodness of the psychosis what is the advantage of the growth tendency in the body why has the body been given a tendency to grow the both the body both mentally and physically is bound to be wounded many times the tissue if they were to be destroyed and not regrow at the end of life 
a human being would have been an, in a tatter. Thus, the growth tendency in the genes help to repair with a cut. What a cut is. At the broader level, the people who are born with the predominance of growth tendency or psychosis predominance are the one who have a mental aptitude for the progress. Mankind would never have progressed from ape to modern man if there was no growth tendency or psychosis. So this is what the goodness of psychosis. To the psychotic brain goes the credit of all the discoveries and inventions. The man encounter many difficulties in progress. He gets over it because this frat, uh, fertility of the brain. The generals in the army and the head of the police or the nations have to have a psychosis if the nation has to register progress. So this is what the psychosis having also goodness, the syphilis having also goodness and the sora is all the goodness. So this is what we have concluded here for today hope you have understood the mental aspect of uh, myasm in little sense this is not this is just uh, initiations of learning this is not everything so from this we can have a idea of a certain point and that gives rise to that every case will teach you something that this patient is in a psychotic this patient in a syphilitic this patient in the soric stage so this is what you have to keep in mind. So we conclude here for the today's sessions. Any questions, uh, if you have, please let me know. So we will discuss for a few minutes. Yes. Recognize and does not move is given in psychosis less because of it is a looseness at the level of uh, intellect. Okay, I can recognize everything because my intellect is good, but I have no capacity to move inside. I have no capacity to do anything and that is what the helplessness. So that is what helplessness comes into this is the psychosis less. So this is the remedy which is the coculus in this rubric and the coculus is like that. They can understand everything. They can know everything, but they cannot do anything. And that is what the psychosis less. Sometimes this helplessness goes into paralysis also. Sometimes this helplessness goes into destruction also. That time there is a thin line between psychosis less to the syphilis. So they, they may go into syphilitic taint also. Yes. Any questions? Yeah. Scanty menses, age 33 years, regular menses, USB thyroid normal, uh, psychotic less. Yes, how to prescribe? Simple. The uh, scanty menses means the proliferations of the endometrium normally which is proliferated. Uh, that has to be less than that. So endometrium for the nurturing. So she don't want to nurture anyone in the life because of the life circumstances, circumstances make him to become so hard. So you need to find out what is the things make her to forget the nurturance part in the life and find out the disposition prescribe it this is the gcs is the needed for this case absolutely in the small children in the small uh, dr farheen you have asked the questions that in the four months, baby developed dermatitis of the whole body. Uh, we have to take a pregnancy. Absolutely, it is a pregnancy history is needed. In the four months, baby, the mother history is the only things to prescribe. Uh, Dr. Nisha has asked the teenager being harsh, rude, and impolite even to the parents, letting them down, speak like a Tumari Okad Nahi Hai rubric, such as impolite. This is the rubric is uh, what we called as we have. Uh, this is uh, the manner, manner he had no manner. So the rubric is. I will show you that. Insolence impertinent. This is what over forwardness or, or a behavior which is rude by virtue of being irrelevant or inappropriate 
to the context. This is the rubric is insolent, impertinent. Dr. Nisha, for that, the rubric is like this. I will share the rubric uh, in the insolence, impertinence. Yes, absolutely. Many one is answers. Um, Dr. Monica has answered that actually exactly the same thing. Uh, there is a reserved and introvert given in the psychosis list, but there is a collection of the emotions into mind. Uh, then why is in the less see our gene has the capacity to express so this expressions gives rise to uh, extrovertedness and when there is under expression gives rise to a uh, collection that is not actually the collection that is the reserveness the secretness there is the introvertedness so that is why it was given in the rubric psychosis less not is the collections of the emotion nobody collect the emotion the Everyone collect the memory. It is not the emotions that collect. So this is what they are going into the shell and broods and everything. That is what the psychosis lays. Yeah, that's a syphilitic. Insolence is a syphilitic. What is the difference? Difference between impetuous and insolence. You can go to Dr. Dictionary. So, uh, I will not share you something because I am not feeding you anything. I am just giving you an idea that will help you. Otherwise, what happens? There is the example is important, but direct message or direct uh, meaning is not important for you. So, you have to go to the dictionary, understand the behavior of the patients and then and then you can apply it. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Denature has autoimmune disease that is going into syphilitic state. So that is what the syphilitic mind is. Mind and body uh, speak the same language. No, no, it is. Uh, this is not uh, uh, autoimmune rubric. You know, this is a syphilitic behavior is there, but it is not an autoimmune to that. So find out why he is doing like this. Ask them. Insolence meaning. It was in the chat box only. You can see at the chat box. No, introvert is not so right. It is under expressions of the psychosis. What is the mind behind the urethral stricture? How it develops, it is based on the urethral stricture. There is a looseness also can cause the urethral stricture. There is a uh, excess, uh, what we called as a fibrosis or the stricture is because of excess injury to that also causes a stricture. So, uh, simple thing is urethral stricture is something that I don't want to make a urine pot outside. So, that is what the urethral stricture is. Okay. So, that means I don't want to mark something in my area and that is what the introverted kind of personality can goes into urethral strictures. For that, you need to go to uh, read the GNM one. Second, you need to go to read the pathophysiology behind the urethral stricture. And then and then you applied a certain aspect of the miasm. And then you get the idea. Okay, Dr. Sunita. So... Thank you so much. Thank you all for being with us. Thank you. So we concluding our day today. Thank you so much.